Howdy guys and guys, I'm Silent Senior Zero 9, and this is Let's Play Yoshi's Island! Woohoo! We're back with more. Today we do World 1 2! Let's do this. It's gotta be a whole giant scary chain chomp on the picture there, or well, it did anyway. Watch out! Hello. <laughs> Jeez, the titles in this game, I'm telling you. Do, 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 do. I love. Holy crap, look at that! He, he ate the whole freaking ground there, dude! Jeez! That's so violent! Yeah, that's the shtick. Each level's gonna have its own shtick. Whoa, hey, calm down, sir. Ma'am. Whoa, yeah. So basically, the trick with this level is roughly every other, like, segment, these boogers will eat the ground, basically. So it, it just kind of makes it a little more fun platforming. And also, it's it's them having fun with the whole, like, three-dimensional kind of stuff they are got going on there. They were, they were like, they, 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 they were, you want to start there much, boy? They were tinkering and ding uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Dabbling in the aughts of trying to do more three-dimensional stuff before they actually got, you know, the first, like, polygon game of N64. And that was their version of it. This is the middle ring for this level. You may continue from here. Additionally, as you may have noticed, middle rings give you ten stars. Holy cow, Matilda. Actually, there's a message box I did not take time to hit. My bad. Do you remember? Press Y. Press down. On the control pad, make an A. Press A to throw egg. Hey, nice little reminder. Thank you. Alright, so you see up there? See those coins? Yeah! So basically the left one, the two middle ones, and the right one are all red coins. And that's because they are rotating one way, and the other coins are rotating the other way. And also there's a slightly different design on them. Again, kind of hard to see, but I'll probably try to zoom in just a little bit, you know, with my fancy magic. Ooh! Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and grab those. I didn't even mention that, but you can actually grab items... Flowers, red coins, etc., if you'd like, including Baby Mario, which I think actually made, that was explained in Baby Mario, but that I don't think that applied and carried over to the other stuff. You can actually use eggs to grab items in this game. Unlike in the uh, Yoshi's uh, Super Mario World, where you had shells and stuff, you couldn't actually use those to grab items, which is unfortunate, really, because there were a few times with those dragon coins, man, I really could have used the help. Oh, look at that, we got invisible areas. This game just loves pelting new stuff at you. You're gonna find. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Suck him in a concussion, dude. Dude! Poor Yoshi! Actually, I think it's poor Mario. <laughs> Babe Mario. Forget dropping him on his head. We've, like, bopped him on the head like a million times on concrete blockage. Jeez, it's any wonder, you know, we don't really hear much from Mario than Mamma Mia, you know? Anyway, that's the. Uh, er, that's, of course, implying that this Babe Mario is gonna turn into Mario, or maybe Bar Babe Mario is his own character within the Mario universe. I'm rambling too much on the story lore, aren't I? Ooh. Anyway, if we go down here, I think there's a 1-up. All the way underneath this. Not that it's a big to-do. Because 1-ups, I don't typically... It's kind of like Super Mario World. I don't find myself really needing them a whole lot. I will admit this... Uh, between the two games, this game is a little harder. Uh, partly because... There's the whole bit... Actually... Should I? You know I'll just worry about that later. I was going to grab those now, but that's alright. I can grab those later. This game's a little harder, in my opinion, just because there's the added element of having 100% the game. And that's the part that I'm like, oof, you know, because you're trying to get all the items without taking too many hits, and you're trying to complete the game, you know. And also, the, there's a few, you know, other bits, but we'll get, those later, get to those later. Press Start to display your score. To use special items, use the left and right on the control pad, choose an item, press A, then to exit, press B. Alrighty, well, we don't have any items yet. But that's presuming, of course, if you were lucky enough to get a bonus, you would have had a chance to get an item. Hello, what is that bubble there? Looks like fun. You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter ball. Seriously? Dude, that's awesome! Touch the Yoshi block in time, and Baby Mario will warp to be warped to Yoshi. Ah, yes, of course. So, basically... Whoa! We're helicopter Yoshi! Yeah, Baby Mario gets to stay there while we get to travel about, have ourselves a good old time as a new vehicle Yoshi. Also, I think if I go down here without... Oh! Yep. As helicopter Mario be... Or helicopter Mario. Helicopter Yoshi, be very careful 
enemies when they touch you will cause you to freak out and lose control of yourself. In, so, in this level, not so much of a problem. Also, don't panic if you don't, you know, get everything or you get reached the end. You'll be just teleported back to here, so that's not a big deal. There will be times when you have to do stuff in one run. We'll get to those in a little bit, but for now, we're just going to kind of meander about here. I'm going to keep grabbing goodies here. Also, you'll, you may notice there's like a little indentation there. Blech, words. Yeah, there's a little flower up there. These are all just coins down here, but yeah, might as well go ahead and grab them, yeah? Might as well, yes, yes. Alright, and then down there is where the Yoshi is, but right up there is where you want to go, and I ran out of time again. Good job, me. Jeez. Look at that. Alright, third time's the charm, yo. <laughs> We're just having fun turning into a helicopter. Let's just be honest here. I just like being able you know, to fly endlessly like this. This is kind of cool. I want that card! It's not a red coin, but I want it anyway! Because I'm greedy. <laughs> the inner Bowser in me wants the money. Yes, right up here, there's hidden three red coins. Grab those. Then you come right back down here, hit this block. Bloop! And Baby Mario comes with us, and we've reached up here. That was really the whole point, is just getting up here. Also, if we get up here... Interesting. I like how they do that. I guess you could technically reach those coins if you shoot an egg at them, but... Better to just go ahead and grab them ahead of time, you know? Alright, so, if you reach to this point here, I think, yeah, we should be good. We're at 17 red coins, 4 flowers. We're doing good on life. Let's go ahead and continue. I think we're actually at the last part. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit this, get ourselves a flower, get ourselves a 1-up, get rid of this goober. Bloop! <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and hit this cloud here. I think that's more stars, actually. I probably should have saved that in case I run into something. And one last ditch ever to fail. Watch out below! Yeah, watch out below yourself, Chain Chomp. Ooh. Actually, there's a name for that, I'm sure. Future self, feel free to correct me. Thanks. As I get denied another bonus. Ooh, you have light blue Yoshi. Very nice. Ooh. Do. Do 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 Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a little mushroom patch. This looks like fun. Oh, the chompers don't look like fun. Let's go ahead and get started, though. Ooh, we got some time. Let's do another level. Beep boop. The Cave of Chomp Rock. Ooh, very nice. All right, so if you have eggs already, we can get rid of this guy here. And we get ourselves a little cloud. And there's nothing really to gain from hitting that guy, but it just feels good to get rid of him. But you can get up here if you wanted to, and I think... Can you get up here? Oh, you can! Sweet. There's no point to it, though. So, let's just go ahead and go down. Do, do, do. Oh, I love this music so much! I'm gonna be quiet for a sec. Well, after this rock stops being a noisy little turd. Yes, I love this music so much. Oh, God. The underground music is one of my favorites in this game. Oh, my God. The drawings. <laughs> I, I'm sorry to laugh like a hysterical maniac, but I just love the drawings in this game. It's so adorable and cute. The little impact of him ground pounding. Pound the ground. Press down on the control pad while in air. Yoshi will pound the ground. This has many uses, and it rocks! Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there with the whole chomp rock bit. So yeah, you see these little totem pole things here that have like a little white plop on top of them? If you pound them into the ground, I think these are supposed to be mushrooms actually, now that I think about it. They're just at a weird angle, so it looks all... Oh no, I guess these are mushrooms here too. I don't know. Anyway, dude! Well, if you want the chomp rock, you can actually go back up here and don't follow ya. But be careful, because the chomp rock will actually push you along if you're not quite ready for it to be, you ready to be pushed along here. Whoa, hey, don't run me over, ooh. It won't actually ever run you over or make you lose Mario, thankfully. It will, however, if you're not careful, push you into pits and stuff. Also, the reason for stomping those is sometimes there are indeed red coins, and you probably want to make sure you grab those, ooh. You got these little, little chompers, oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see, if you're not careful, this little booger will push you right in. Hello, what you got for me? There are two controller figurations for egg throwing. Would you like to switch? 
Oh, I like how they actually put that on there for no. I like the owl from Ocarina of Time. Would you like to hear this again? Ooh. Alright, so you see this chop rock here? It might be tempting to push it down this hill because it's so fun pushing rocks down hills. I don't know what it is. It's just so satisfying, especially when you get to watch them roll over enemies and crush them. And especially bonus points if you could watch them, like, run away, as sadistic as it sounds. It's kind of funny because the game designers like to make them, like, ah! you know, get, get all freaked out. Anyway, for doing that, this is the only way to get this to spawn here. It's nothing really big, it's just little extra stars. Not a bad idea, though. Would you kindly get out of my way, Rock? Seriously. <laughs> Try to keep me from getting my stars. I want to be the star of the show. Actually, I probably don't. Yeah. Yoshi's the star of this show. Anyway. Middle ring! I like how sparkly it is. Just, ah, uh, it just feels so good. Yeah, I thought you really... Oh, okay, well, you almost got me down the pit. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and push this rock down here. Yeah! Be careful not to let the chomp... Little chomper there. I think those are called chompers. Alright, gotta show some points here. I think that's a... Ooh, I thought that was a flower. My bad. <laughs> Hiccup. Little chomper here. Yeah, so you can actually... I didn't really demonstrate this, but... There are some enemies you can actually just jump on them and destroy them. You don't have to eat them. You can also, instead of eating the enemies and pushing down and turning them into eggs, you can actually blow them out at other enemies. Let me see if I can... Uh, uh, oh, look at that. We have spores. I was going to demonstrate if you eat the spore chomper, it'll actually, instead of uh, turning into an egg or solid object, Yoshi will just swallow it whole and won't even give you a chance. Uh, actually, you could probably jump up and get that, can't we? Yeah. I'm sure they intended you to go ahead and do that. Also, these little balloons here, they have a very weird name. Future yourself, put the name on these on screen, would you? Appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll just call them balloons. That, that, that's fine with me. They're, the enemy names in this are... Some of them are like, yeah, they roll off the tongue, and sometimes... Oh, watch this. Mmm. <laughs> that's kind of cute. Ooh. A key? Ooh. Well, don't mind if I do. I will take the key. Alright, so beware. Whenever you're carrying keys in this game, they actually act as an egg slot. So now we have the ability to carry a maximum of five eggs instead of six until we use the key. So let's go ahead and you, uh... Well, actually, let's go ahead and go up here. Grab these. And again, as you can see, the middle one is red coin there because it's rotating the other way. I say that as if it's like, oh, as a matter of fact, it's so easy to spot. I'm like... If, I was, if, I, if the roles were reversed and I was the viewer and y'all were behind the seat doing this, I'd be like, I sort of see it? I don't know. Anyways, so anytime we see locked doors with keys, let's go ahead and open them. The ones with the little barn door looking bit here. Uh, I don't know why I said barn door. Just, that one just had straw hats on it. Anyway, or straw on it, excuse me. They'll take us to mini games. Throwing balloons! To throw the balloon, key in the button sequences as shown. The game time is limited. If the balloon pops on you, then you lose. Collect an item if you win. Alright, so this is basically how this game works. You get a button sequence, you gotta push them in order, you gotta push it within the time limit before it runs out. That little red meter that's filling up, it'll fill up. Oh, excuse me. And um, the game, name of the game is basically it's Hot Potato, or Hot Balloon. The bigger the balloon gets, the closer and closer it gets to exploding, and if it explodes up on you, you lose. Most people would probably say, well, you know, there's a trick to it. If you kind of roughly know how long it's going to be before it blows up, you could just hold on to it for eternity until you're ready to let go. True, but sometimes it's just more fun just to keep doing this until you find out which one. Ah, you booger! That is a violent blue screen, jeez. Well, don't panic if you lose. You don't need this to get 100%. Uh, with that one specifically, I think you would have just gotten one ups or two ups, one of the two. So, I'm not really too hurting too bad. Yeah, you tasted bad. I'm gonna just spit you right back out. <laughs> that was funny. I just realized what happened there. So the lantern ghost guy there, because I blew the little chopper at him, he just rolled instead of exploding into confetti. Like that, a little stars. He just like rolled on and then he like bopped to the other. Oh, dude! What was that? Rewind. Could you not? Could you kindly not do what you just did there? Ooh. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna bop you, and then let's just push this down. Ah, there we go. Crush you. I don't think there's any point to... Well, I guess I guess the rock can just go ahead and crush you, too. Why not? There you go. 
Jeez, look at me. I'm being so rude and nasty to all the enemies here. Just crushing them and making them feel bad. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to hit that, but, you know, hey. That's just how it works sometimes, yo. Also, I think that's our... Nope, that's not our last flower. I guess we got one more. Ooh. Nom! Nom! Aw, <laughs> the poor little chopper. Help, 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 help. I'm stuck in here. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little eh, squish. <laughs> I think one of these has actually a hidden cloud in it. I'm not sure. It might be this one. I hope it is. Yay! All right. So if we hit this, we get ourselves a switch. Switches can do multiple things. Uh, for this level specifically, they basically help you find all secrets. There would have been a secret cloud over here it would have pointed out. Additionally, there's a little down arrow. If you push down here, and you can only do this while the switch is active. Coins! Coins galore! Oh my goodness, look at that! It's rain and coinage! It's rain and coinage! It's rain and coins all over the place! Yeah! Money, money, money! Alright, anyway, there are no red coins in here. This is just a bonus room for getting lots of coins, so. If you're worried, oh no! I didn't get the secret! What do I do? Don't panic, that, that's for sure. Also, I think... Ooh. I feel like I'm not going to have enough stars, but I know how we can do... So if I do this... Ah! No, not like that. Ooh, no, I guess not like that either. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and grind for stars for just a second here, because I think I might be short two stars if I'm not careful. Actually, I don't even need to grind now that I think about it. I was just sitting here thinking, like... There's a trick I would have to do to do that, but now that I think about it, I don't have to do that. There's actually a way we can get more stars. Ooh. So you all remember that box that was floating above? Each time you leave the screen for whatever reason, carefully, if you touch the spores, you actually will take damage. Um, this will respawn every time you see it. So, use it wisely, ooh, as you need it. Get ourselves a star there. There we go. Now we got 30 stars. All right, now I feel a little more confident. There might, might have been a cloud up ahead, but I just feel, in my memory space, I'm like, I don't think there is, so you might want to go ahead and just have that ahead of time. Also, we're going go, to want to go ahead and push this rock up here, then briefly jump up, jump off of it, get all the red coins up here, get the last flower up here, there you go, you now have 100% of all the goodies in this level. Ooh. And with that, the underground segment is about finished. Do, 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 get the heck out of my way, piranha plant hat. Get out of here, doof. Oh, and get a one-up for that. Nice. All right. Yeah! All right, on to Yelio. She's sweet. Bonus time, bonus time, bonus time, bonus time! Woo! Bonus challenge! All right, finally, we get to do one of these. Sweet. Man, look at that. These videos are going to be a lot longer than what y'all are probably used to compared to Super Mario World. <laughs> Woohoo! Another 100%, so now we have 300 points within World 1. Sweet! Scratch and match. 1-up chance. I was hoping for the other one, but that's alright. Scratch three boxes. Uncover Mario's to gain 1-ups. Scratch on! Alright, so here's how the reward system works. Three toadies, you get zero 1-ups. One Mario gets one 1-up. One two Mario's gets two 1-ups. Or two up. Three Mario's gets five up. Let's get started. I doubt I'll get five up, but let's find out. Um, I like to do the middle one. I don't know why. I just call it obsessive compulsive OCD, whatever. Well, that was a poor choice. Um, I guess we'll do the right petal of the flower that we have here. Ooh, good choice, good choice. All right, so we're getting one up. Can I make it a two up? Ah, uh, well, you know, you know, that's how it be sometimes. <laughs> we still get a reward, so that's nice. <laughs> I like how Yoshi's just so delighted, so happy, so joyful. Makes me want to jump up for joy. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to do it right now. Ready? Ready? Without tripping over myself. Jump, jump, jump for joy. Yeah! Oh yeah, that was the weakest jump for joy ever, but that's because I don't want to like knock things over because my big old chunky monkey self. Anyway, that is enough for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't stop laughing the next time we meet. We're going to go ahead and ooh, do World 1-4, continue on with Yoshi's Island Adventure, and continue more of this game. See y'all next time. Peace!